Hey guys, welcome to another video. Today we'll be scrapping out this video machine. Uh, this is the one that didn't work originally. Um, so as you can see it's not the DVD VCR combo that you will see in the first part. So what I'll do today is I'll just essentially just, um, take it apart. I won't worry about breaking any of the parts down. I'll do that in another video. So we'll get straight into it. I'll just put them all aside and we'll go through it in another video, all the circuit boards. Nice pressing steel, clean piece. Now this ribbon cable, I'm not sure if it is just a, um, I don't know, like tin for example. It could quite possibly be silver, but I don't have any way of testing that. So I might possibly put it aside and put it in with my um, keyboard traces. Save those for a rainy day. There's that part, guys. All taken out. Remove one clip and all the other clips are align themselves. But here we go, we got it. So there we go. There's not too much to this to these old BCRs. So in another video I'll just break it down a little bit further, take off a few of these chips and everything like that. There's pretty much nothing else. I mean, there's lead. I mean, if you've got a heat gun, you could you could probably stand here and heat this up and try and remove all this lead. There's some extra value, but I'll just go in the um, circuit board pile for me. And there's nothing really on this part of the board here.
There we go, it's all done. Just wind this all up, put it all together collectively, I mean a little bit of tape. It'll just burn off straight away. And we'll continue taking all this off. This um, chip here, I'll take that chip off, but I won't worry about I'm trying to pull this circuit board off. I mean, it all goes in the same um, pile anyway. And I'll just remove this chip. And then that, again, just go straight to the circuit board pile. Same with this. Um, I'll try and remove this chip. The reason I chop it is because if I use my pliers or my side cutters, nine times out of ten it splits in the middle, where it splits and just disintegrates. It needs time to reach spaces, but here it's going to show me up because I'm recording it. And there we go. But I won't bother about. Oh, maybe I will. what's inside this as well. Sometimes these contain little copper pieces. See like that? Little copper inductors, some brass bits there. I don't know what that is. Is that a would this be a crystal oscillator as well? But there. I stopped taking these off and stopped processing them because to try and remove this is quite tedious. This outer shell. As I'll try and do for you now, but again, it'll probably come up really easy because I'm recording it. And back in the day when I first started um, collecting and processing all this sort of thing, I would meticulously remove these types of capacitors here, these small ones, and I'd, and I'd take all the and I'd deshell them, unwrap them, deshell them. And then just, you know, as I started to collect so much more, I just really haven't had the time to be able to do that. Which is kind of humbling at the same time to think back to the days when I actually sat there and just did that sort of stuff. So I don't really need to take that part that much more. So I'll do that in another video as well, or I might just, just do that off screen. I mean, everybody knows what that's like. And then here's a transformer, I think. I know. Bit of copper, as you can see. There might actually be a, a bit of gold in there, I think, because it's not 100% copper and I can kind of see as I move it through the light there is a tinge of yellow as well but um, 
yeah, I'll remove all this. And last but not least, remove these chips here. And then that'll be it. And then the rest can just go into the mixed um, metals or shaker boards. Just remove that oscillator there. And that can go up there, it's done. Let's check in the back here. So if there are any more chips hiding under here, there probably is. Yep, there we go. Now it's complete. Elite useless. And then one more there, that Toshiba chip. And there we go, pretty much, guys. Done and dusted, really. Just remove that chip off there off screen, clean up all that. Um, remove that inductor cap there. I do take these off, as you can see, there's some nice, decent copper in there, too. It's, it's grade two. But nonetheless, it's still better than nothing. And it all works up over time. I like to roll them into little balls too, and rather than leave them the way I took it off, it makes it easier to put into my furnace. So, there we have it guys. So in the next video guys, I will take apart this, because um, there will be some bits and pieces underneath this head. It might be a little bit tedious to get into at times, but there's a nice big cast aluminium piece here. And on the back side here, there's a nice, um, you can see some copper in there. So thank you for joining me. Look after yourselves and I'll catch you on the next one. Cheers.